I mean, it's amazing um, having the whole team at the field last night. The atmosphere was great, and when we saw our name, everyone was just so excited, jumping up and down. So it's definitely a memory of mine to um, be the first team to host a regional at the university. So it was really special. You guys, I think, are 13 seats, so you got you know you, you had a little <laughs> margin for error, but not a whole lot. I mean, were you guys anticipating getting a regional, or was it pretty nerve wracking? I mean, it w- it went both ways. I mean, we didn't want to jinx it, so everyone was like, "Don't talk about it, don't talk about it." But um, we, I none of us really expect us to be a 13 seed. I mean, the whole year everyone's kind of been underrating us, so having a 13 seed was like, "Wow, like we did that." So it was just amazing to see us that high up in the on the list. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. I mean, this conference is the best conference in the nation, and I'm not surprised. I mean, even the lower seeds like Ole Miss and Mizzou, like teams see them on their regional, and they're like, oh, my gosh, they're in the SEC. Like, they know how to play. So even the ones that aren't hosting, they still got a good chance of winning their regional. You all know anything about these teams that are coming in with Oklahoma State or, or uh, DePaul or Wichita State? We did play Wichita State earlier in the season, and we did lose 1-0, to zero, but we played in some really tough conditions. And when we saw them, we're like, yeah, we're ready for them. We're ready to get revenge on them. And we played Oklahoma State in the fall. So we are very familiar with these teams, and I'm very confident. How big an advantage do you think it is for you guys to get to play at home? I mean, every SEC team that – or every SEC stadium is just so amazing. The fans are awesome. So I think having the home field advantage is amazing. Having all of our home fans is awesome. So I'm ready to see what the turnout's going to be. You know, the baseball team's out of town. There's no track. Basically, you guys are about the only game in town. <laughs> yeah. I think people will be out there probably anyway, but especially – kind of having the weekend to yourself athletic wise how, how big a deal is that what, what do you expect from the fan base yeah I expect a lot of people to be there even from opposing teams but knowing that baseball is a way we hopefully will get a lot of baseball fans to um, come our way so that's going to be really exciting well, who all offered you out of high school scholarship place um, actually Arkansas was my only SEC offer and that was a big part of me coming to the school because I it's been my dream since I was a little kid to play in the SEC so they were my only SEC offer but I could have gone like to other pack or not pack, but um, power big five. yeah power five conferences like like, like, like which ones um, Oklahoma State I could have went to Illinois um, UConn um, I can't really remember yeah. all of them exactly but I had a lot of options like Minnesota so I chose this one because I wanted to play in the SEC the best conference in the nation so that was a big decision for me to make to come here you know, a couple of years ago the program wasn't doing real well I guess probably about th- you were probably a high school sophomore year. and now you're hosting a regional after getting to go to the NCAAs last year I mean um, were you anticipating things going this good at Arkansas when you signed um, definitely not my first year I mean I knew the program was up and coming but having this much success in my first year is awesome it, I definitely exceeded my expectations for myself and the whole team in general so having this much success so early is just the seasons to come, it's the sky's the limit. I know it's your first year based on what you've seen. What, what, what do you think has been the key to a couple of years ago, Arkansas like won one or two SEC mm-hmm. games and now – you know, hosting a region. I mean, what, what do you think is key to the turnaround? Um, I think definitely our pitching staff. I mean, me and Autumn Storms have been really good limiting our walks and just having really good pitching outings the whole season. So in our hitting, we've really had more quality at bats than we have in the past. So, But I think definitely our pitching is what really, like, pushed us over that hump in the SEC. I was curious about the, the California kids that are on the roster, like mm-hmm. Hannah and, um, and, and Autumn, I think. Um, just how big have they been this year just kind of turned things around? Yeah, I mean, coming from California, uh, playing travel ball there, it's the best state in the country to play um, travel ball, just having that good competition. So coming in like them, playing it previously and knowing what they need to do is awesome. They've been really good leaders and have been a big part of the team so far. Did you think Hannah would have a season like she did? Um, I didn't really know her coming in, but I've seen her in the fall. Her swing is awesome and amazing, and um, she just has the quality qualities that you want in a leader and, and a good player, especially being an underclassman. So I think I'm not surprised. I'm pleasantly so not surprised, but I like how she's playing, and I'm not surprised that she's been doing so well because she's awesome, an amazing player. What's been the key for her and yourself being two freshmen coming in and, and having the season you had in the SEC? Um, I guess just going at it and not being intimidated by these big-name players that you're going to be playing against. I mean, especially from Hannah's standpoint, every SEC team has an All-American pitcher. And going in there as a freshman, her doing so well is just so inspiring for any freshman that comes in that you can do whatever you need to do. Just go, in, go at them and don't be intimidated. 
Has Kayla Green been your catcher for most of the year? Yes, she has. So what's your, your guys' relationship like? Um, well, she's my roommate, and actually on our official, I was like, this girl's probably going to be one of my best friends on the team. We have a really good relationship. Our personalities work well, and she's a really hard worker. I mean, in the fall, we didn't really have a catcher that just came out of the blue. We They all had to work for it, and she definitely worked hard to get that spot, and it shows – just every practice, she's always going at it, and she proved herself, and I'm happy with how she's been catching. How instrumental is Autumn Barkley been as far as Yeah, especially early in the season, we had that sweep by Georgia, so we kind of had to regroup, and she definitely is like, it's okay. I mean, me being a freshman, I don't really know what to expect, so her just having a little more experience than me really made me more comfortable um, pitching out there. With all the, other, all the SEC teams being in the tournament, you guys obviously playing a tough SEC schedule in the tournament, mm-hmm. SEC tournament. I mean, how, how prepared do you think that's helped make you guys for the NCAA regional? Yeah, I mean, playing in the SEC, the strength of schedule, every weekend you're playing a top 25 team. So going into the postseason with that under our belt is awesome. I mean, we face really good pitching, so we are ready for whatever's thrown at us. You mentioned, you mentioned Oklahoma State offered you, right? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of a, that's kind of a traditional softball power, I think. Was there a particular reason why you picked maybe an up-and-comer like Arkansas instead of a, a program like Oklahoma State? Well, they were kind of late on the recruiting process, and I already toured Arkansas, and, I mean, this place is amazing. Their facilities and the stadium and being in the SEC, I mean, my mind was pretty made up by the time they offered me. But I just love Arkansas, and I can't imagine going to any other school. Would it be kind of cool to pitch against Oklahoma State in the regional? Yeah, I mean, it'd be pretty, it'd be pretty awesome. I mean, we played them in the fall. We played a doubleheader against them and um, swept them. So it would be nice to beat them again, yeah. Is it pretty wild to see nine teams in the league host, like thir- mm-hmm. nine and a 13 to host? Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, that just shows the strength that the SEC has in softball. I mean, we're just such a powerhouse every year. And like I said, playing that strength of schedule really helps us with – if you're not hosting a regional, going to Oklahoma, say if we make it to the um, the Supers, but just having that strength of schedule is awesome with the postseason coming up. What do you expect the atmosphere to be like at Bobo this weekend? I mean, even when we played Old Miss, it wasn't even a regional, and it was awesome. I mean, pitching out there in front of all those people is amazing. It definitely gets your adrenaline pumping, but I'm really excited. It's going to be an experience, so I'm excited to see what the turnout's going to be like. Hey, one question. Hey, what would you like as a coach? When, obviously, she's you know been the leader of this turnaround. What, what, what do you think about her? What would makes her tick? Um, I mean, I think me and her uh, think really alike. I mean, in terms of pitch calling and stuff like that. But I really like how she coaches. Kind of like being really personal with the players, not necessarily like really yelling at them or. I don't know, just being like really outgoing really isn't her um, suit, but I like how she coaches because it's more personal and more of like a family atmosphere, which I really like.